fabulous creatures. Are they real? Written and illustrated by Schooler Anderson. Introduction Fabulous creatures are those you read about in stories, especially in myths and legends. Some of these creatures really exist, others don't. Do you know which in this book are real and which are not? Are we real? We'll soon find out. Cerberus Cerberus is a very unusual type of dog. He has three heads and spines along his back like a dragon. He's a fierce guard dog, but can be quite friendly if you offer him bits of cake soaked in honey. Is this fabulous creature real or not? <coughs> No, Cerberus is a three-headed dog in an ancient Greek legend. He was the guardian of Hades, the underworld where the spirits of people went when they died. The spirits offered the dog bits of sweet cake to let them pass into Hades. People say that where the angry Cerberus dribbled on the ground, a plant called aconite grew. This plant is one of the most poisonous in the world. In the legend, a Greek hero called Hercules was asked to go down into Hades and bring back Cerberus. Hercules caught Cerberus and kept him on the end of a leash made of chains. <coughs> Coelacanth A coelacanth is a huge blue fish with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Its body is covered in heavy, armoured scales, and it has four thick fins at each corner of its body, which allow it to walk. Is this fabulous creature real or not? Yes, the coelacanth lives in the Indian Ocean and the only walking it does is underwater. Before 1938, scientists had found many rock fossils of coelacanths, but nobody had ever seen a live one. Everyone thought the fish had died out. That changed when some South African fishermen found a strange fish in their nets. A coelacanth. But after that, no more were found, so the scientists put an advert in the newspapers. Wanted. Coelacanth. Huge reward offered. Some fishermen from the Comoros Islands answered. We catch a few every week. They're no good to eat. Only bony and oily. Their scales make handy scrapers, though. The coelacanth was alive, even though scientists thought it had been extinct for 70 million years. Dodo This strange bird is one of the many animals that appears in the book Alice in Wonderland. It has soft grey feathers, yellow eyes and short yellow legs. On the end of its legs are four toes with thick black claws. Is this fabulous creature real or not? Yes. Well, it used to be. The dodo lived on some islands in the Indian Ocean. It was the size of a turkey and couldn't fly. It was actually a type of pigeon. 
dodos were discovered by some Portuguese sailors in 1598. The birds seemed very tame and were easy to catch. That's why the sailors called them dodo. It was their word for something very stupid. Boo! Many dodos ended up in the cooking pot. By 1681, the last dodo had been killed and they were extinct. Nowadays, we use the words dead as a dodo to mean lifeless or finished with. Dragon A dragon's body is covered in scales. It uses leathery bat-like wings to fly. Its jaws are filled with hundreds of sharp teeth, and when it breathes, smoke and flames shoot from its mouth. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No. When people told stories about dragons, they may have been thinking of alligators and snakes, which are terrifying creatures. When the first fossilised dinosaur teeth were found, everyone thought they belonged to dragons. The name dragon comes from a Greek word meaning watchful. Dragons in stories often watched over treasure. There are tales about dragons in every part of the world. Chinese dragons were good and brought rain for the crops. The Aztec dragon Quetzalcoatl had feathers and scales which shone like a rainbow. The Welsh liked dragons so much they put one on their flag. Giant Squid The giant squid lives in the very deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. Sometimes it comes to the surface in search of prey. If it can't find a whale to eat, the giant squid will wrap its enormous tentacles around a passing boat and drag it down to the murky depths. Is this fabulous creature real or not? Yes, giant squid exist, but they are unlikely to attack a boat. That only happens in films. They are shy creatures, and not much is known about them. In 1878, some American fishermen said they had found a giant squid that had a body 32 metres long. The tentacles were 56 metres long, making the whole animal 88 metres long, the width of a football pitch. So far, scientists have found squid only half that size. The squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the world today, up to 30 centimetres in diameter. A squid's tentacles have hundreds of suckers along them. There are small teeth around each sucker so the squid can get a really strong grip. Whales have been found with sucker marks on their skin. These were probably made by a squid trying to escape from being whale breakfast. Loch Ness Monster This monster lives at the bottom of Loch Ness, Scotland's deepest lake. Every few years, it rises from under the water and swims on the surface for a little while before diving again. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No. 
or yes, depending on who you ask. There is a legend of a man being killed by a monster on the shores of Loch Ness about 1,400 years ago. In 1930, there was a newspaper report about a creature that swam close to some fishermen in a boat. Since then, many people say they have seen the monster or taken photos of strange shapes in the water. Teams of scientists have searched the lock using all sorts of equipment, but nothing has been found. So far. Perhaps the creature has just kept out of their way. People still visit Loch Ness from all over the world, hoping to see the monster. Mermaids and Mermen Mermaids and mermen are half human and half fish. Mermaids often sit on rocks that stick out of the sea. They sing so beautifully that sailors are tempted to sail closer to see them. But then their ships are wrecked on the rocks. Are these fabulous creatures real or not? No. There are legends about mermaids and mermen from all over the world. The god of Mesopotamia had a shaggy beard and a fishy tail. The Roman god Triton blew on a shell to control the weather and the sea. A long time ago, many sailors claimed to have seen mermaids. Perhaps what they saw was an animal called the dugong, which is a bit like a seal. These creatures often sat upright in the sea, holding their babies in their flippers. So from a distance, they could easily look like mermaids. Minotaur A minotaur is a fierce creature that is half man and half bull. The place where the Minotaur lives was built by a clever inventor called Daedalus. It's a maze of corridors called a labyrinth. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No. The Minotaur is an animal from an ancient Greek legend. In the legend, King Minos sent people down into the labyrinth from time to time. They could never escape from its winding corridors, so they were eventually eaten by the Minotaur. Then, a young man called Theseus went into the labyrinth. He killed the Minotaur and managed to escape. When he went into the labyrinth, he unwound a ball of thread. To get out of the labyrinth, he just followed the thread. King Minos was so furious about this that he imprisoned Daedalus, the inventor, in his own labyrinth with his son. But Daedalus built some wings and the pair flew away. Phoenix a phoenix is a bird with magnificent gold and purple feathers. When it's about to die, it builds a nest of cinnamon twigs in the tallest palm tree it can find. As soon as it jumps into the nest, the sun heats it so that the nest bursts into flames and the phoenix is turned to ashes. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No. The phoenix is a bird from an ancient Egyptian legend. People believed that the bird lived for a long time, between 500 and 1,000 years. It never ate anything, ever. 
In the legend, as soon as the phoenix and its nest had been burnt, a small worm crawled out of the ashes. This eventually turned into another phoenix, so the bird never really died. The word phoenix is Greek, meaning palm tree or purple. In Egypt, the phoenix was known as the Bennu bird. When someone talks about something rising like a phoenix from the ashes, they mean it has been reborn. Sphinx There is a famous statue of the Sphinx near the Great Pyramids in Egypt. It shows the Sphinx with a woman's head and a lion's body. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No, the Sphinx is a creature from an ancient Greek legend. The word Sphinx actually means strangler. In the legend, the Sphinx sat on a cliff above a crossroads. She asked everyone who passed by a riddle. If they didn't give the correct answer, and they never did, she would fly down and strangle them. Her riddle was, What first goes on four legs, then on two legs, and lastly on three legs? The answer was a man, because... As a baby, he crawls on all fours, then he walks on two legs, and finally, he uses a walking stick in old age. Eventually, a king called Oedipus answered correctly, and the Sphinx threw herself off the cliff in anger. Vampire Bat Vampire bats have two very sharp triangular teeth, like razors. In the dead of night, they fly into people's houses, bite them on the neck, and suck their blood while they sleep. The people then turn into vampires. Are these fabulous creatures real or not? Yes! And no, there are such things as vampire bats, but you're unlikely to be bitten by one. If you are, you certainly won't turn into a vampire. That only happens in stories. There are three kinds of vampire bat. The common vampire, the hairy vampire, and the white-winged vampire. They all live in Central and South America. Fancy a bite? The bats fly at night, land on the ground, and crawl towards their prey, usually a horse or a cow. They often bite the animals near their ankles and suck their blood for a few minutes. Their prey rarely feels a thing. Werewolf The full moon is high in the night sky. It shines through the window of a farmer's cottage. When the moon casts its beams across his bed, the farmer leaps up and runs out of his front door. With a howl, he falls on all fours, turns into a werewolf, and lopes off into the woods. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No, there are no such things as werewolves. In Europe, in the 16th century, some people believed they existed. Several people were put on trial, accused of turning into wolves and harming their neighbours. It wasn't just the full moon that could turn you into a wolf. You could just take a magic potion. You could put on a wolfskin belt. 
You could drink water from the footprint of a wolf. The word were is an old word for man. So a werewolf is just a man wolf. People thought they could turn into other animals too. There are stories of were tigers in India and were bears in northern Europe. Yeti. The highest mountain range in the world, the Himalayas, is the home of the shy creature known as the Yeti. It's about two meters tall, covered in thick hair like an ape, and stands upright to walk on two feet. Is this fabulous creature real or not? No, or yes, depending on who you ask. Many people say they have seen a yeti, sometimes known as the abominable snowman. Others say they have seen its huge footprints in the snow. No other clues have been found to prove the yeti exists, such as the bones of one that has died. Some people think that the yeti is simply a large ape. However, you don't have to go to the Himalayas to look for yetis. People say they have seen similar creatures in other parts of the world. <laughs>